So here I'm going to talk about some general guidance on the troubleshooting. Basically from a demo, you can see everything went quite smoothly and everything there's, you didn't see too much error messages. And, uh, but it is very common that you might see some unique uh, error code or some error messages after you connect to database. Sometimes it is caused by uh, the cap cap uh, compatibility issue between Microsoft and Oracle. Sometimes because you're uh, at your laptop, your IT department might install some virus software or some special image that is basically causing uh, some issue, the Power BI reading from Oracle. But uh, don't panic because it is very common that we also receive all sorts, all sorts of issues on this. So if you see that, don't panic. There are something that I would do and or like basically you could do to fix by yourself. And I'm going to tell you that what I would do uh, for myself to basically to solve the issue. So basically the first things first, you can basically uh, see my slides here, this line. Basically you can go into the Power BI Oracle connector page to see some general error message that most people are facing. So how to, how to do that? I'm going to quick demo to you. So first, you're going to use your favorite browser and basically I'm going to type in Power BI and Oracle. And I'm going to type in enter. And basically the first result should be the kind of the official page. That way here we downloaded our OD, uh, ODAC here. So if you scroll down, basically this provides some general guidance. And you see there's one part called troubleshooting. And you can see here there are some common uh, common error that people have received. And there is the solutions here. And of course, today is October 2020. When you come in, the troubleshoot might be or like more. There's some extra information there. At, as of today, you can see it provides two solutions. And you can see the first thing is to download the Power BI desktop from the dollars download center from instead of using the store version. And the second thing here is you want to, if you want to use the store version on your local computer, copy it. There's a file called uh, Oracle or so this, this file from your installation path from here to there and where X represents the version and your dictionary numbers. So yes, basically uh, that is, Actually, those two, even this official guide, they actually work, I guarantee you. This helped us resolve a lot of issues that our users are facing. So please, please first try these two methods first. And if there's more, basically try them as well. So basically this can help you resolve the most common issues that you are facing here. Then what if uh, you might ask, hey, like I'm, I, I did this, but still not working. What, what can I do? So there are a couple of things that you can do also. So the first is basically if that if you are like an IT professional or if you are comfortable using the laptop, if you're comfortable like operating by yourself, basically I definitely recommend you to Google your, your specific error code. Uh, maybe you in your internal network or basically uh, use Google to search for Power BI community. They have been really doing a good job to answering the questions and and basically to troubleshoot with the users. So this is the first thing you can try. But if you are not comfortable just like doing the changes on your laptop, basically first you can check your local IT department, uh, submit uh, like a ticket so they can help. But there's also another way that I would recommend to get dedicated Power BI help. So. For any of you, if you are Power BI Pro users, you can get free Microsoft professional support with no additional charges. So I'm going to show you how to do that if you're like uh, uh if you're facing some challenges. So first is basically you can search type in Power BI support, and basically the first result after the ad is basically the support page for Power BI. So I'm going to click in here. And first, basically, you can see there's some other uh, outages issues. You can scroll down here. Basically, there's thing it calls still having issues. And basically, it says here and say pro user get free support and fill out the ticket. And I'm going to click this create support ticket here. So in October 2020, it doesn't lead you straight into there. So basically, you can type in any information, describe your issue. 
once you describe, basically, it gives you some common, basically, answers, and you can basically check if this resolves. But if you still cannot, it says here, see a yellow button here, basically it says didn't find your solution, create a support ticket. I'm going to click this yellow button here. This will lead me to log in and basically to submit an official ticket. So now it's loading to a new, pro new portal. Basically, this is the ticket submission page. And you can type in, okay, what is this related to? So in this case, of course, it's not only for Oracle. If you see any, any other issues like you are facing, you can also submit through these pages. So in this case, basically, I'm, if, I'm, if I am facing an Oracle issue, basically, uh, in here, I can go into, basically, you can select anything, but I'm going to, like, say, create and authorize data. And basically, in this case, I want to, yeah, you can select any category. And I, if in this case, I will just like uh, problems connecting to a data source. Okay, cool. And tell us what you're, what you're facing. And just basically says like error message, uh, basically connecting to Oracle. But you can also, uh, to be more specific, you can just copy and paste the error message into this, this window. So basically they can find the solution for you quicker. And basically you can see, uh, see solutions and basically they will give you also some general guidance and it was just helpful basically you can you can ignore that and click next and basically the support plan you can use the uh power plan uh power platform subscription with your with your power bi pro and basically you can type in the uh, more detail here this is the arrow message and you can attach some screenshot and you can basically say, yeah, this is like for pro license, it has to be minimum. And basically you can type in error message and put all the information and the next. And basically what is your country, email address, and who you want to CC to, and what's your phone number, and your preferred way of communication. Basically there are someone with the Power BI team will come and basically help on your, on your questions. And basically it's also always one-on-one, -on -one. basically you get the best support from them. So yeah, this is basically, and then you can click submit. So here, this, this is how you can submit a support ticket to Power BI uh, to get help. So yeah, basically, uh, those are all the ways that I would try and try to re resolve the issues here. All right, so that is everything that we have today. And I hope you enjoyed the video and also hope the information is helpful to get you connect to your Oracle database. So if you have any questions or comments, please leave at the comment bar below. And thank you and have a nice day.